Welcome back to Powerhouse. Well, we've done the blower door test. As you can tell, it's still blowing, and that's what we're talking over right now, but this is going to enhance what we're going to talk about next. Okay, we've identified the main culprits as far as air leakage. How do you confirm those points using this tool? Right, this is called a thermal imager, and this is actually going to uh, take an image of the uh, temperature of the walls. So uh, in areas like the recessed light we've got above us or the door we have behind us, uh, where that air is actually getting through, we're going to see a really stark contrast and be able to see where that infiltration is so we can put that in the scope of work for this homeowner to make their home as efficient as possible. So this, this thermal scanner is going to show us visually exactly where the air leaks are taking place. Absolutely. And with the help of it being nice and cold outside, we're going to see some really stark contrast. We come over here uh, and look at the door here. We're seeing a lot of that cold air actually moving through, and that's air that's coming up the wall uh, and cooling off the wall there. Wow, that's a such high contrast. There's yeah. no denying that. No, there's enormous opportunities here uh, to uh, improve the building envelope and save uh, save this home a lot of energy. Now I see those bursts. What are what are the vertical lines that we're looking at? The vertical lines here are actually the studs around the door jam, and uh, what's actually causing that area to be cool is called thermal bridging, and that is uh, those studs are actually in contact with the outside wall, and that's uh, shotgunning all that cold air right inside. Um, and uh, there's ways to mitigate that uh, through when you get your home resided, but uh, for the time being, there's other opportunities, we, other things we can take advantage of to actually improve that. Now, that, that window is a great example. Doors would probably fall in the same category, right? We'd see that same contrast? We'd definitely see that same contrast, uh, especially uh, in original doors to homes of this, of this era. Uh, we're going to see a lot of uh, improve, opportunity to improve that weather stripping and uh, really cut down on that air infiltration. Okay, there are a lot of outlets in this room that I know are exterior outlets. Those yes. are going to show something too, right? Especially outlets and uh, outlets and light switches on the outside walls are going to be huge opportunities to reduce air infiltration through use of the little foam outlet gaskets. They're really inexpensive and available at any hardware store. It's a very quick fix. The reason those are good opportunities is because the wiring usually runs through the attic down the top plate where they had to drill a hole. And drilling that hole through the top plate without sealing that up, create, basically allows the attic air to come right down your sidewall into your living space. Even if it's a tiny little hole, right? Even if it's a tiny little hole, because if uh, because any hole is gonna be an opportunity for air to get through. Great, all right, we've covered doors, windows. Where else should we look? I think another great opportunity is the attic hatch, because it's a place that often gets forgotten. It's usually hidden away in a closet, and it's uh, usually not air sealed and not insulated to the level that's gonna really help this home stay efficient. Good, let's take a look. Excellent. So the attic is a great place to stop air infiltration. What do you see on the scanner here? Absolutely. Well, when we get up here, uh, we're going to take a peek at the attic hatch, which is where people get in and out of the attic from the living space, of course. And what we're seeing here is we're actually seeing all these dark streaks, which is uh, with the blower door running uh, is actually going to, uh, is the cold air that's being pulled in from the attic and going uh, coming straight into the living space. Now, if air can get inside through the blow door, it's definitely going to get outside when the blow door is not running. And that's uh, warm air that we've paid to heat up and cool down that we want to make sure we stay, it keeps inside the house. Now, that can be fixed, remedied with caulk and um, some insulation, right? Right. You can insulate the, insulate the back of the attic hatch, uh, generally with something really rigid. So we're going to look for extruded or uh, extruded polystyrene is the best uh, material to use for that. And then you can either use adhesive foam tape to air seal the outside, and both of those are going to be relatively inexpensive fixes that a homeowner can do on their own. Let's talk a little bit more about insulation. Um, what kind of insulation do you want to see in a home like this? Right. Uh, for homes in uh, generally in our climate, we want to see an R49 in the attic. That's going to be, depending on your material, 14 to 16 inches of blown fiberglass or 12 to 14 inches of blown cellulose. Uh, if a homeowner wanted to check that on, the, on their own, they can go up there with a tape measure and take a couple of uh, samples of the depth of their insulation. Now, oftentimes there's ductwork that runs up through the attic. That can pose some problems, I would imagine. It really can. We Generally, we want the attic to be the exact same temperature as outside. So if you have ducts running up through the attic, uh, it's going through a really cold space and uh, has the opportunity to cool that air down and keeps you from being comfortable in your living space. Um, the opportunities to mitigate that are, number one, insulate your ducts because that's going to keep the ducts nice and warm. We also want those ducts to be completely air sealed uh, because that's going to make sure that the air that you're paying to heat up and cool down is to be delivered to your living space and not your attic. All right, I think I know what our next point of business is going to be, Rob. I think we need to get our ducts looked at up there. 
So you stay with us, and if you want more installation information, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.